We asked ChatGPT to give us the worst whiskies, and black and white blended scotch was at the top of the list. Is it really that bad though? Today we're going to find out. Until ChatGPT name dropped this baby, we hadn't heard anything about the black and white whiskey brand. But as it turns out, black and white is actually a classic whiskey that's been around for over 130 years. The whiskey was developed by James Buchanan, a Canadian who moved to Scotland as a boy. His goal was to create a whiskey that's smooth, light, and affordable to everyone. So in 1879, he came out with Buchanan's blend, which was rebranded as House of Commons. Soon after, fans nicknamed it the Black and White, due to its black and white colored label. And in 1884, this became its official name. Later on, Buchanan added two Scottish Terriers, one black, one white, to the label as mascots after you attended a dog show. Black and White was a popular whiskey brand for most of the 20th century. Crooner Dean Martin was a loyal black and white drinker. So was Walt Disney. He reportedly liked to end his work days with a cocktail called the Scottish Mist. It's just black and white whiskey poured over ice with a lemon twist. Black and White was also featured in movies, TV, and literature. F. Scott Fitzgerald wrote about it in his book, Tender is the Night. James Bond drank black and white in the novel Moonraker, as well as in the film Dr. No. On an episode of Cheers, Frazier orders a black and white neat. Over the years, black and white, the distillery, has been bought and sold numerous times. In the past, it was part of both the Dewar's and Guinness portfolios. And today, it's owned by Diageo. Interestingly, today it's only sold outside of the UK. It's most popular in parts of France, South America, and Asia. So is the case of ChatGPT hallucinating again? Let's have a look at the stats. Black and White is a blended scotch whiskey made at the James Buchanan Distillery. It's 40% alcohol and the price is listed as $23.88 on Masters of Malt. That's for a 700 milliliter bottle. We paid about $4 for this 200 milliliter bottle at the local 7-Eleven here in Taiwan. Now let's get into the whiskey a little bit. You get like a sour citrus on the nose. You can tell it's a blend, you get some grain in there. It's Not like, in a bad way though. It's like a biscuity, sugary, caramel kind of flavor. Dried oak, vanilla. It's all there, but a little bit on the thin side, because it's obviously a blend. And you get a wallop of ethanol in there to remind you that you, you're drinking a blend that's on the cheaper side. You're not having any, any fantastic single malts or anything along those lines. The finish is a little bit on the short side, but still, again, not unpleasant. Honeyed finish, sweet, relatively short, not terrible though. And I think that's kind of what you're looking for when you go into this blended whiskey territory. You just don't want a horrible finish that's going to stay with you for a long time. This one is somewhat short. It's not that bad. Look, if I was homeless, I'd take this over a bottle of vodka any day. I'd spend that extra money to drink on my park bench and I'd enjoy it. Would you really enjoy it though at that point? I would enjoy the whiskey. I wouldn't enjoy being homeless. So the other way around, I would enjoy being homeless, but I'm not sure that I would enjoy this whiskey. In the end, our verdict is that, that ChatGPT is wrong. And, and I guess ChatGPT never had a whiskey in his life. This is a regular blend, just like any other brands out there. Scottish Leader. Famous Grouse. Famous Grouse. For the price value, they're very solid. Give it a 77% as a score, which is respectable for a blend. Overall for value, since the price is relatively low, solid B.